Alrighty friends, it's Gwen and I am back today with another scrapbooking process video. I have my peppermint tea at the ready and I am working with the happiness collection for this layout. Now on the blog this week, uh, the design team have been working with either circles or squares and for me this question uh, was very easy to answer because I find it very hard to work with circles. So I have uh, absolutely taken the easy way out here and gone with the squares. I'm using this sweet little photo of Caitlin taken from a little while back now and this cut file from cut to you it is called grid block background and I've gone ahead and backed it with lots of pattern papers from the collection. So this is the plan here photo's going to go there and you can see uh, the background. Now I did include a little bit of footage of me backing this one so I have just gone ahead and worked uh, square by square it's actually a really fun and easy one to back because it's all straight lines and uh, I do like that you can just do it block by block so all I'm really thinking about here is spreading out the pattern so I'm uh, trying to avoid having two of the same uh, pattern papers backing like side by side cubes and especially when I'm working with say that bolder blue, when I look at the page I want the blue to be fairly evenly spread across the cut file if that makes sense. I am also going to in fact use uh, leave some of the cubes open so that you can see the pretty pattern paper um, background that I've uh, chosen there. Oh yes, I did also want to mention the glue I'm using is the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and that is my, one of my glues of choice uh, for doing any of this kind of intricate paper piercing kind of work. Now I also want to tell you the pattern paper for my background is called Sprinkles and the papers that I'm using inside of my squares there, the green one is called Little Things, the blue is called Good Vibes and the uh, painterly one, the one that's sort of like patches of paint, that one is called Expressive. And I'm just going to go ahead and centre it onto my background pattern paper and I'm adding just the littlest amount of uh, tape from my tape gun there uh, just to yeah lock it into position. I will go back and um, add in some more of the Nouveau to like really lock it down it's really just a matter of getting it positioned for the moment and yes as I was looking at the page I really felt that 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 I needed just that extra little square of blue there so I did go back and add that in um, before locking everything on the background down and here is the plan for the page so uh, Caitlin in the photo is positioned more on the right so I actually prefer when I'm scrapbooking that my subjects in the photos look in towards the center of the page it's not a rule it's just something that I like to do and I find for me when the when yeah when the person in the photo is looking towards the center of the layout it kind of draws the eye in towards the center of the page so I like the look of that I'm going to so create my embellishment clusters and all my details around my photo there and to balance that out I'm going to create my title and another grouping of embellishments up the top left hand corner of the page so it'll be top left and then sort of bottom lower middle right so I have started working on my embellishment clusters and it's at this point that I realize that my photo isn't quite straight so I really want to remedy that because I know that that will bother me this is a very square straight background and I'm just gonna know so I do pull back out my t-square ruler and I'm going to realign that and just make sure 120 percent that it is really nice and straight uh, I have managed to also pop uh, one of the large embellishment floral pieces under that top right hand corner so that is going to stay there and I'm happy with how that's looking and I'm going to build up my cluster from that point um, very often I will work with largest embellishments first 
I can find them hard to fit onto my page if I leave them too late in my scrapbook process. So I do know that about myself and I do try and position the larger embellishments and my title elements very early on. So pretty much straight after my photo. I also like to have a really good think about the layers within the cluster. So I like to have um, mostly I will put the larger um, piece at the bottom of the cluster so that will be positioned first and quite often that's very flat to the page and then I will add the medium and smaller size embellishments on top of those so it's like layers in a cake and then uh, yeah generally the medium embellishments are the ones that I would maybe rise up with um, foam tape or 3D tape just for that extra little bit of dimension and then the last part of the embellishment cluster would be generally speaking something dimensional like a flare button in this case or maybe a wooden element or um, a puffy sticker so something that's not generally chipboard or paper something that's got a bit of texture and a bit of depth I'm also going to be using uh, on this page quite a few of these sweet little butterflies uh, they have to fly all over the page I'm not sure where to put them at first but they all find homes and they are from a pattern paper in the collection called bright and beautiful and I have just fussy cut those out with my um, scissors and I actually sat down and did a whole bunch of those so they're currently sort of more like an embellishment I like to do my fussy cutting in advance and then when I'm creating I've got like a selection of die cut pieces that really technically have been fussy cut so yeah they're gonna end up on the page and I also add in a few more elements from the die cut pack but also a couple of elements from the accessory sticker sheet so the collections uh, often come with the accessory sh uh, sticker sheets and I love that they've got little banner pieces in them, little tabs, uh, the little tassels there they've come from the die cut pack and so has that little tab there on the left that says happiness. The title for my page is going to be lovely and that has come from the die cut titles pack. There are 28 titles in that pack uh, and they're all you can mix and match them to make longer titles or just use them uh, individually as I have here. And I'm going to use the deep blue that's in my title to create a visual triangle on my page. So you'll see the deep blue in the title, lovely. You will also see the deep blue in the flare button there that says happy snaps. And then there's also some deep blue in the banner piece under the photo that says time to shine. So if you connected those three points with straight lines, you would make a triangle. And that's what we uh, can refer, that's what we refer to as the visual triangle. And that's a really good trick to make your page look like it's put together really well. Things are getting serious because I'm gluing stuff down. Um, I have got my uh, that squitch, uh, squitch, Scotch Quick Dry adhesive. Uh, so obviously I'm mixing and matching for this page because I did start with a Nouveau. Uh, anyway, locking that all down. I didn't do that before now, just in case I wanted to um, place something slightly underneath the cut file. So now that I'm kind of really set with my embellishment clusters, and all of those pieces, I'm ready to lock all that into position. Most of the other elements are glued in and I'm really just rounding out the layout now with some finishing touches and I'm going to fuss with the butterflies for a little bit. I did end up actually adding a couple of butterflies that came from the accessory sticker sheet. They were ever so slightly smaller than the ones that I had fussy cut from the pattern paper and I just felt that the mix of the slightly smaller and larger butterflies made the page sort of look a bit more balanced than having all of the butterflies that were all the same size on the page. And that wraps up the layout. So thank you so much for being here. If you like the way that I scrapbook or the way that I chat about the way that I scrapbook, I would love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I always do my best to answer them. And um, yes, I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye.